One. One. Yeah. <laughs> Nine months Drug scenes are a part of a lot of movies and TV shows. In Breaking Bad, the meth that they smoked was actually blue rock candy. You see my little right now, I'm crushing up QC. this meth. So we are can you hungry? Get it a little sweepy? Oh, I know. You are still mauled about throwing a world record. Shut up! Fuck! Wow. While all these drugs look real, accuracy is only one part of the job. Any fake drug, whether it's snorted, puffed, or injected, has to be safe for the actor. Something that hasn't always been the case on film sets. Striking that perfect balance is where a prop master like Joel Barco comes in. Joel has made fake drugs for shows like The Sopranos and Blue Bloods, and he says making these drugs act real is always- This is interesting. Fun. Let's take a simple example to start. It's not enough for a prop joint to look realistic, it also has to produce the right kind of smoke. Substituting tobacco for cannabis seems like an easy solution, but tobacco smoke isn't as heavy as cannabis smoke, and that means it won't look quite right. So prop masters use a cannabis strain that lacks THC for scenes that involve smoking weed. I cannot say that this looks any different than the cannabis smoke that I have seen in my life. It looks like a real joint. Hits like one too. <laughs> That's pretty harsh. For other well, drugs, get it. heroin, it's weed without the weed. Of the fake drug ready, depending on if the scene so, is melting it or not. Not weed. Static weed. shots. Joel has found that the best looking fake heroin comes from a combination of pancake waffle mix and cocoa powder. It's just all about getting the color. All these things are about color, consistency, etc. It, it just reads really well on camera. But for scenes that require, no, it's not CBD. Camera, Guys, it's <laughs> not CBD. CBD is completely different. Completely different fake heroin mixture is swapped in because the pancake mix doesn't melt very well. They use brown sugar, a little bit of water to get the, the bubbly effect. While brown sugar doesn't look very much like powdered heroin, it mimics melted heroin quite well, matching the sticky look of the bubbles. Guys, guys, fake drugs that CBD still gives you an effect, right? They don't want the actor to have that. We know. CBD has no effect. It has nothing. Then why do people smoke it? I, 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 yeah, I don't even know if I should go, uh, look at this on stream. Guys, CBD. Yeah, it has effects. Like, what? Look good and oh, chat's fucking point. brain dead. I, I can't. Oh my god. Uh, chat, listen. Actor has to take these fake drugs on screen. For scenes that require an actor to shoot up with a needle, the needle can't actually penetrate the actor's skin but they need to show the syringe injecting the fake drugs. So for these situations, a specially engineered needle is used. This is a retractable syringe. This is the greatest syringe to use for on camera because what it does is the plunger is ready to just force forward mm -hmm. and it'll retract into itself along with the needle. As you- Guys, the CBD has legitimate effect. That isn't the one from THC, but it still has an effect. The guy, what he's talking about, the puff puff is weed that doesn't have the THC. So it's like weed that has nothing. It's not CBD, it's not weed. It's it's entirely separate thing. It's completely different. The pump into the syringe, mm -hmm. the liquid disappears inside a tube and vice versa too. Let's say in a scene where you need to draw blood from an yes. actor, you can do the same thing. You have red fluid, all, red liquid already See, inside there. This is why I can't talk to chat, guys, you guys. This is why I hate to talk about pot and, and, and stoner heads in chat because you guys are representing yourselves like fucking degenerate cucks. Whenever you guys talk so well about weed, why is that? Smoke weed. That's what it sounds like. Pull this out. Joel also provides real needles to use for shots that don't require faking injections or drawing blood. When I send them out, you'll have a kit. In this case, this one's dulled. I don't send like a really. Stimmer, stimmer. So that way look, this it's not weed. Look, look. look. <laughs>
Is this CBD? What is that, dude? I, I, I don't get this. This fucking thing. It's full of saliva now, dude. Way they can do this on camera as they're, they're still, they're still doing inject, it. They're and still doing it. They're going to actually do the injection. They'd have a retractable one as it's standing. Nailing the look of a substitute is just one part of the job. Joel has the added challenge of making sure any fake drug is also safe for the actor. And Hollywood hasn't always gotten that right. For example, the fake cocaine that was used on the set of Scarface caused minor but permanent damage to Al Pacino's nasal passage. This injury was likely the result Why, really? of the quantity and quality of the film's fake cocaine, which in this case was powdered baby laxatives. In order to avoid any sort of accidents or injuries like this, Joel works directly with actors to prepare them for using fake drugs. You have to think of them at all times. You talk to them about any allergies. It's almost like being a prop doctor. Joel said that one of the most common allergies that he has to look out for is lactose intolerance, because powdered lactose is often used as fake cocaine. And so if they are lactose intolerant, obviously you're not going to use the lactose. That gives you the next option. That is kind of interesting. Inositol. inositol is a vitamin B complex that is safe to ingest. It looks so much like cocaine, the drug dealers have been known to use it to cut the actual stuff. Joel said that this prop cocaine is so harmless that it shouldn't even irritate an actor's nostrils when they snort it. Joel lent me some inositol so that I could check it out for myself. Sweet. This is wild. Oh yeah. Right? It doesn't really feel like anything. Not no, much. no stinging or anything <laughs> yeah. like that. Wow. Yeah, that was easy. Good. I'm actually, I'm just shocked at how, it's not that it was pleasant, it was an extremely neutral experience. <laughs> right. Which is like, that's, that's, what you want. that's what you want. You want them to be able to act on right. camera and not, you know, tearing up and crying. <laughs> oh, look, 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 guys, look, guys, we have a genius in chat. Finally, CBD is non-psychoactive, THC is psychoactive. Okay, okay, wow, man, wow, man, that, that really diffused the argument of the, of the fake weed they had. Yeah, totally. That, when, wait, any actor. We're talking about three components. You you confirmed and mentioned two of them. Completely forgotten the third one, and everyone's like, oh, "But he's right though." There's snorting, injecting, but that's true though. Mm -hmm. It's good to have. There's three elements, to not two. To offer them up, you know, just after afterwards or in between takes if need to, just clear it all out. While prop drugs have gotten safer since the days of Scarface, things can still go wrong. While filming 2013's The Wolf of Wall Street, actor Jonah Hill became ill after sorting too much vitamin D powder during production. I did so much fake cocaine in Wolf of Wall Street, I got bronchitis for three weeks. I had to be Seriously? hospitalized. Yeah. While vitamin D powder is theoretically completely safe to ingest, inhaling the powder almost every day for several weeks straight caused an infection in his lungs. Just as actors stopped using real cigarettes on screen after the health risks of smoking became widely publicized, Actors have recently become more conscious of the drugs that they might have to ingest. This is actually Some interesting. Some masters have created rigs with a suction device that will suck up the fake drugs for the actor. To hide this rig, the tip of the hose is wrapped in a dollar bill. The hose can then be pushed up an actor's shirt and out their sleeve. And then the right camera angle and lighting are used so that only the dollar bill tip is exposed. You can see this ingestion-free technique in the scene with Army Hammer in 2018's Sorry to Bother You. They chose to use the rig because there was so much fake cocaine that needed to be snorted. For Joel's suction rig, he uses a manual pump so it functions more like a human lung. You can use a compressor as well with this, but I, th I thought it was going to be a compressor. It would be way too much. That looked pretty bad though, you're right. That looked really, really bad. All right, that looks good. Okay, so on three, two, one, go. Okay. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the final shot looks pretty good, especially for having such minimal setup. That's pretty good. Joel said that these rigs aren't used very often, but I'd expect to see them become more common in the future. It was pretty easy to use, and I didn't you have to just add it to weed it and CBD nice makes you calm and not stress the real weed. Where I knew I okay. doing a lot of okay. Figuring out I'm, 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 I'm gonna start. It is That's it. Figuring out better and better alternatives that look great on screen and keep actors as safe as possible. Each iteration becoming a small part of Hollywood history and constantly reaching for a new high. We didn't do the whole thing. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I mentioned this before, but this whole table looks like a dick. <laughs> guys, guys, listen. Love you, XQCL. Listen. <laughs> Best looking fake lacks THC for scenes that involve. Hey, guys. So props.
Well, guys, I want this to be educating, okay, so people don't delude themselves, because I think this is really bad when people have bad ideas in chat, okay? We'll give this one last time. And that means it won't look quite right. So prop masters use a cannabis strain that lacks THC for scenes that involve smoking weed. Okay, okay. They wouldn't expose their actors to CBD. They wouldn't. If they, they wanted to, to, to deal with THC, everybody no, no CBD either. So it's just, it's, it's just nothing. I cannot say that this looks any different than the cannabis smoke that I have seen in my life. It looks like a real joint. Oh my God. It's like one too. <laughs> Man, I, guys, I, I have guys. I've met a lot of good potheads in my life chat, and some of us are really reasonable. Most of you potheads in chat are just, you're just fucking brain dead. I, I can't reason with you guys, man. I'm sorry, dude. Mo Most of potheads are, are the reason why people, a lot of people have reservations uh, uh, against potheads. Uh, guys, I feel bad for the, for the real ones out there, man. Guys, listen, I am dead as jet. I love you potheads, okay? Much love. You guys are really sweet. I feel sorry that you guys are represented by a bunch of fucking degenerates. It's very unfortunate.